Uh, hi, my name is Haukur Ringi Jonasson. I'm a professor at Reykjavik University and I'm the head of the board of the Master of Project Management program at the university. It's hosted within the School of Science and Engineering. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite uh, curious though, because I'm, uh, I don't have an engineering background. My background is actually theology. Uh, I have a PhD in a field called psychiatry and religion. Uh, I'm a trained psychoanalyst. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pastor. And, uh, and I have a wide experience from different aspects of, of life, actually. So uh, when I was kind of heading into the, the world of management, I and, and, uh, and become a writer, like an author in, in, the, in the field of management and a management consultant and a, a, a teacher in the field, um, what had a, if, if I were to pick up a, one, one thing that kind of really, uh, caught me when at a, at a, as a, in my formation years. There was a remark from a, a, a Hungarian pianist, a concert pianist, a, a big name in the world of piano. He said, I think the, the greatest uh, advice I can give to a young man is to let go, to let go. And I felt, what do you mean? Let go. I mean, it's all about grabbing and, you know, moving on and, you know, uh, succeed and accomplish. But, uh, but uh, his advice was to let go. And I took it as, a, as to mean, don't worry about things that you don't have to worry about. Uh, move on with uh, certainty. You know, don't bother too much about uh, perfection, for instance. Uh, relax. Uh, take it easy. Uh, uh, one step at a time. It's the, the it's the mission. It's the it's the it's and every step. It's not the ultimate goal. I mean that that comes and you, you will you will you will succeed uh, if you just stick to uh, to the it's it's and every step. So that that was something that spoke to me. Um, um, in, uh, there was another instance where a, 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 a fellow, he was a, a medical doctor, a great, uh, a good friend of mine, much older. Um, he said to me, um, I, was, I was being very, uh, making like strong judgment about a person. And I was kind of, it, it was a harsh judgment. And I, I said something, you know, this man is, you know, you know, you know, I can, I'm not going to repeat it. I'm, I'm, you know, it's a, I've mat, matured a little bit since then. But he said, you know, well, maybe you shouldn't judge him so much, he said, my friend. Because this is probably his way to deal with the complications of, of, of living. And I thought, oh my God, there's so much humanity in this. And I think when you come into management, when you're dealing with all kinds of people in projects and in board members and, you know, Everyone is on their, has their agenda, everyone has their you know, own uh, self-understanding. So I think those two elements, you know, let go, take it easy, and, uh, and try to understand where they are coming from. So, so my advice to the next generation of, of project managers or portfolio managers or CEOs or whatever, you know, people in the world of management, um, I think it would be, like I say in my book uh, on project leadership, you know, uh, try to uh, um, develop yourself in such a way that you can be totally transparent uh, when you're dealing with others, when you're managing others. That means, you know, uh, take time off to really understand what's coming, happening within you, you know, your emotions, your feelings, you know, your desires, all of that. And then try to find out, and there are many methods, I mean, in psychology and in, in the world religions and, and, you know, you name it, in meditations, whatever, where you can really uh, aim for that transparency. So you, so you don't have to struggle so much when you're uh, 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 working with others. So it's a kind of a more of a free kind of a flow. And it's more, uh, it's more rewarding for yourself. Uh, it's more rewarding for the people around you, and I, I'm, I'm absolutely certain it's great for success.